The disease I was given to research is called von Hippel-Lindau syndrome. The three main categories answered the questions given are, what is von Hippel-Lindau syndrome, who can get von Hippel-Lindau syndrome and how, and treatments and cures. What is von Hippel-Lindau syndrome? Von Hippel-Lindau syndrome is a disease caused by a mutation in the tumor suppressor gene on chromosome band 3q25. Because of this mutation, tumors grow throughout many parts of the body, many of them non-cancerous. One type of symptoms of von Hippel-Lindau syndrome are pheochromocytoma symptoms, which are symptoms that you get when you feel in an emergency. Some examples of these symptoms are pale skin, tremor, and unintentional weight loss. Another type of symptoms are hemangioblastoma symptoms. These types of symptoms vary depending on location. Examples of these are in the cerebellum, double vision in the spinal cord, difficulty walking, and in the brainstem, poor coordination. Other names for von Hippel-Lindau syndrome are angiomatosis retinae, cerebellar retinal angiomatosis, in the case that is familial, Hippel-Lindau disease, VHL syndrome, and von Hippel-Lindau disease. Who can get von Hippel-Lindau syndrome and how? Von Hippel-Lindau syndrome has an autosomal dominant inheritance pattern, this meaning that inheriting the mutated allele from one parent is enough to get the disease although, unlike most autosomal dominant inheritances, you actually need two mutated VHL alleles in order to cause von Hippel-Lindau syndrome. Usually people with one mutated allele will eventually get a mutation in the second allele. Von Hippel-Lindau syndrome cannot be prevented since it is an inherited trait or a mutation in a specific chromosome, but it can be prepared for by taking screening tests to catch it at the earliest stage possible or by learning about your family's history with the disease and telling your health care provider. As a result, you may get better medicine or treatments for your case of the disease and ultimately make the quality of life better. Just about anyone can get von Hippel-Lindau syndrome, but most tumors are developed in young age. Although it is rare, you can actually get this disease by just having new mutations in the VHL gene in the reproductive cells, but this is also a rare occurrence. People with von Hippel-Lindau syndrome can still have children. However, since this disease has an autosomal dominant inheritance pattern, if you were to have a child, the chances of that child having that affected allele are very likely to happen. Treatments and cures. There are prenatal tests for von Hippel-Lindau syndrome. One form of prenatal testing is the analysis of DNA from fetal cells acquired by amniocentesis. Another form of prenatal testing is chorionic villus sampling. Medical assistance that the child will need are as simple as hearing tests to MRI scans to surgery. Most to all of the treatments for von Hippel-Lindau syndrome depend on what age an affected child is and are needed as the child grows older. There is much research on von Hippel-Lindau syndrome, including the possible treatments, symptoms, etc., but so far there is no cure. Organizations like MD Anderson have put together teams to research an effective treatment or surgery for von Hippel-Lindau syndrome that is the least invasive and most effective. Some of the treatments include surgery and high-dose irradiation. There are also some medicines, for example, Everolimus affinator, to help stop or slow down tumors in the kidney and pancreas areas. Doctors and researchers are also searching for medicines that can help stop or decrease the growth of tumors. Von Hippel-Lindau syndrome is a disease caused by a mutation in the tumor suppressor gene that makes getting tumors a lot more frequent and just about anyone can get it, but there needs to be some form of family history with the disease or have new mutations in the VHL gene in the reproductive cells. Because of its autosomal dominant inheritance pattern, if someone with von Hippel-Lindau syndrome were to have children, they would likely pass it on to their offsprings. Although there is much research on von Hippel-Lindau syndrome, there is still no cure. 
but organizations like MD Anderson have put together teams to research more on the disease and to hopefully one day find a cure.